Now, do you kids need a simple explanation of the class trial? A boo hoo hoo! No, we don't. Let's get on with this. Very well. Now, let's discuss the two victims in this case. Uh, who are the victims again? Are you seriously that forgetful? Yes. <sighs> Junior Tom! The two victims in this case were Yellow Yoshi and, and Blue Toad. Junior, since you were the first one to discover Yellow Yoshi's body, I think it would be best if you describe what happened. Uh, sure. I'll explain. You see, Blue Toad tried to jump over the pools, but then he failed, so he went to go inside to get a towel. But then, after that, I decided to go check on him. But then I heard a big thunk, so I ran into, into the storage room, because I think that's where the sound was coming from. And then I saw Yellow Yoshi's hang body on the lamp. And then, I went to go right back outside to get you guys. Why didn't you go to the room, Tawahawa? Because I don't know, because I know one of you guys definitely murdered him. What do you mean, Fresh? I'll get to that in a few minutes. But then, only Susie came with me after I went outside. But then, once I broke in, we, me and Susie broke in, we ran into, before we broke in, I mean, we ran into Yo to, um, Yoshi and P Detective Pikachu. We busted down the door not only to find Yo little Yoshi's hanged body, but the suspended body of Blue Toad. That's it? Hmm, well, I think we can easily list out some of our killers already. Hello, how, how are you mean, my name is Mr. Ludwig van Koopa? It's simple. Junior, did anyone leave the outside while Blue Toad was in there? Um, no, no one left the outside. Well then, simple. It had to be one of the people inside. Uh, dude, you're incriminating yourself. I know, but it's, it's, it's very, very, um, needed in order to help solve this case. I guess so. Right, so we can all agree that it had to be someone who didn't go outside with us. I'm gonna uproot your logic! Someone could've easily have slipped away. Ugh. Well, guess what? No one did. Because when I went back out there, everyone was there. Ugh. How do you know they didn't just cover for each other? Simple, because then I would've definitely seen them go in to kill Blue Toad! Alright, Joey. Now do you see it? Yeah, Mike. I'll see it. Alright, so who were the people who stayed inside? Well, including Joey, that would mean Ludwig, Hoopa, Yoshi, and Ludwig. Oh, I mean, Detective Pikachu are all culprits in this case. Well, simple. I'm with Yoshi. Case closed. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm casting my vote and I'm leaving. No, Yoshi. Come on, mate. Oh, ah, fine. Uh -huh, but Hoopa didn't have a... didn't do it. I have an alibi. What's your alibi? Cool, Johnny. It's my alibi. No, oh, man, I'm done. Bonnie, you want to come with me? I'll come. No, get back here, you two. Right. I'm tired of her talking about her stupid Kujan. But it's true. Kujan is my alibi. He even provided me the truth of this cult of the order of death. What do you mean? Well, you said that that tarpy thing we found near Bluto wasn't there before, right? Uh, yeah, it wasn't. Simple then, hello, hello. Then someone hit Blue Toad's body, which means Blue Toad was killed first. Wait, how do you know? That's still an illogical conclusion. For all we know, Blue Toad could have easily have killed Yellow Yoshi, and then someone caught onto him and then killed him in the act. That is the more logical conclusion. I'm gonna have to agree. No, this is actually a really easy trick. They could have they covered the body with a tarp, right as you went in. And they could have been hiding somewhere in order then to rip down the tarp! That actually makes some sort of sense, but it would make more sense if someone killed him first. I think Yellow Yoshi was definitely killed first. Yeah, Junior, I mean, come on. Thrills! Kills! Kills! It's time for the scrum debate already? Oh, this is gonna be interesting! We haven't had we haven't even had a non-sort of yet! Oh! Now, come on, decide if you think Yellow Yoshi was killed first, and decide if you think Blue Toad was killed first! Go! Woohoohoo! Junior! Hoppa! Yoshi! Detective Pikachu! Bon Fresh! Joey! Meloetta! Joseph! Ludwig! Susie!
How do we know that Blue Jump was killed first? Yoshi! The fact that they had to hide the body with the tarp is proof enough! Hoopa! If they didn't want to use the tarp, then why would they eat the dead even? It could have been dead and you missed it. I'll do it! No, I, even though I took a quick look, it was definitely not on the floor. If the killer killed Blue Toad first and then yelled Yoshi, how would they get out of the room? I got this. They could have easily used the hidden tunnel that leads into the boy bathroom. So, does that mean the killer has to be a girl since that tunnel can only be used by girls? Hoopa! Well, how do I know that not Manakuma never said the tunnel can only be used by a certain gentleman? How do we know that Blue Toad didn't kill Yo Yoshi and someone just caught on to him? Yoshi! There was no sign of any rope burn on, on Blue Toad's hand! What does rope burn have to do with him having a, not having a chance of killing Yellow Yoshi? I got this! Because due, due to Ludwig's autopsy report, it's it's for, it's firmly believed that that Yellow Yoshi was actually strangled instead of um, hung. This is our answer! Everyone, you gotta believe us! Bluto was definitely killed first. There's still one thing I'm confused of. Ludwig, you said your autopsy report proved, might have proved that Yo Yoshi was suffocated, right? Instead of uh, strangled, yes. But what do you mean? I'm saying, uh, who would try to do that? And furthermore, why did they hang the body? All right, let's discuss that. There's something I still don't get. Oh, that be fresh. If Yoshi was strangled, why would they just choose to hang the body? Maybe he was suffocated. Well, maybe it was to trick us to make him think he committed suicide? Pfft, I agree with that. I think that was the true goal, to make us think that Yoshi committed suicide. Why would they do that? Well, I mean, think about it. Last time he just lost his girlfriend. Not only that, the person who killed her was someone he trusted deeply. Think about that. Enough. Tell me if you were in his shoes, you wouldn't think about committing suicide. Get your right, fish. Yeah, I feel bad for him. I mean, Morgan was just a sweet guy who just wanted to get out. But he didn't have to kill someone. Ha! A low-life criminal like you, doing- Okay, you know what, that's it! What, Monokuma? Not a body stop right now, thank you very much, Freddy! No, she come now! I'm done with this trial! He did blame with me! I don't do anything! I might be the overdue criminal, but that doesn't mean I commit crimes! What? Stop! No, she calm your tits! Calm my tits? I haven't calmed my tits for these past three chapters! Chapter? What is this, a video game? Shut up! She's here, think of breaking the fourth wall. Not helping Ludwig! Simple, you're a low-life criminal! Because I am a detective, I have to make sure of these things. Anything like you low-life Yoshis would be just begging to commit a crime. Yoshi, please. At least you would detective if he could you a little more after the, before this trial ends. <sighs> Fine! So, what do we discuss next? Well, let's just discuss stuff. Maybe how Bluto got in the room in the first place? I agree with that! Yeah, how did Bluto get in the room in the first place? Maybe it was through the secret tunnel. Huh? Say this. Maybe the killer invited Yellow Yoshi out of his room into the storage room. Then knocked Yellow Yoshi out. He did have a bump on his head. Yeah, you're right. Then he must Bluto must have heard something in the storage room, but it was locked, so he tried to go through the secret tunnel. Then, the killer must have obfuscated it, so the tunnel didn't see anything. So Bluto came out and saw they were making preparations to kill Yellow Yoshi. Then, once Bluto saw it, he tried to run back in the tunnel, but then got killed. Yeah, that would make sense, since the scissors that killed him were near the tunnel, leading to the male's bathroom. Wait, what the thumb hurt? If it's, it's a theory, but I'm guessing the killer wanted Junior to discover Yoshi's body first. What do you mean? Just like I do, we were just saying during the scrum debate, you said the killer probably was hiding in the tunnel. It was probably after they killed Blue Toad. So, after that, they killed Yoshi and hung him up. Then, they made the bang sound to make it sound like the killing just happened. I'm just getting a time of death, Hawa Hawa! 
But my decode jump protected it all along. Then why didn't you say it? Oh, Kojan was sleeping. She does not want to be bothered. Flash! Getting back to topic, um, <clears throat> we can now deduce that the culprit went through, was hiding in the tunnel, and was probably there when I discovered Yellow Yoshi's body. Well, now that we know that the killer, how the killer did it, we should be narrowing down who. Well, we've already deduced the fact that it could be either Yoshi, Pick, Joey, um, Dr. Pikachu, you, or Hoopa, because you are the only five that were in the, in the house. I think we can safely rule out Yoshi, though. What? No! I will not give up the fact that Yoshi is the criminal! You know what? I'm done! Wh what? Sure! Whoa, 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 Yoshi, don't tell me, Casey. I'm done, okay? I'm gonna kill myself at this point! Stop it! Yes, do it! So I don't want to deal with you anymore. Fine! Yoshi, no! Ha ha ha! Don't you dare do that, Yoshi! The great and mighty Kujan says, I lay hope at it! No sentence for you! Don't you wanna live? I don't wanna live anymore! And he's just gonna insult me, okay? Because you are a crimp! That's it! Shoot! Uh. Stop it right in something our friend, or else the mighty spirit of Kujan will kill you for this! I think I'll stop. There we go. Oh, uh, by the way, Yoshi, where did you get those scissors? Oh, um, they were in the storage room. It was near a case. It looked like it had two scissors in it. One big one and one short. So I grabbed the short one just in case someone should have pulled something. But it looked like the big one was grabbed in a hurry because the, the, the small one was, like, very, very loose. Wait, I think I know what happened. What out? What? Can we please stop, stop talking about how and talk about the killer fish? No, listen. I think maybe they w the killer didn't intend to kill Blue Toad. It was an accident. He he was just a witness to the crime, and he did the killer didn't want him to squeal. Yeah. You know what? I don't know if this will help the case, but I think I might have known how they knocked out. They maybe have woken up Yo Yoshi. How, who's to say he woke up? You have to be alive or at least up to get strangled. So, right, I smelled some salt, and I thought I felt a little energized. Could I be a, could I have been smelling salt? There were some in the boys' bathroom. Exactly. So, let's just start a quick sniff around. Yup, someone makes us smelling salts. And, that doesn't, and that's not me. Alright, well, can we stop talking about the smelling salts? Okay, for the five people, talk about your alibis. I was in my room. I was just in my room as well. Oh, well, I guess Hooper can be my alibi, right? Yes, Hawa Hawa. We were looking around the garage. What were you doing there? We were looking for tools to get out of this place. Alright, well, that's a decent alibi. So that means the only three suspicious ones are Pika Detective Pikachu, Joey, and, um. Yo Yoshi. Oh, uh. No, it's fine! <sighs> I'm not the culprit, you gotta believe me! I will never believe you. You are the culprit. Wait. In the connections and wait. Who was discovered the body and I know who the killer is. Wait, what you do, Flash? Yeah, I realized it, Susie. Who was with us when we discovered the body? Um, I believe it was Yoshi and Detective Pikachu. And I heard something right as they came out that shocked me. One of them is the killer, and it's... You're the only one! DP. You killed her. Not the her. Them. <laughs> oh, what a funny joke. Seriously, who's the killer? It's Yoshi. Hmm. Junior, explain why you think it's him. Simple. As Yoshi said, right as he came out, Detective Pikachu got me looking for Yellow Yoshi. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, I did say that. You just came over here and got me. It was to incriminate Yoshi as the killer. But now you're gonna have to convince everyone that here I'm the killer. <laughs> When could I have had the time to kill both of them? Simple, you were one of the five people that remained inside. Makes sense, Fresh. 
It's a, it's logical. <laughs> I think something Yoshi's the killer. We already determined that Yoshi can't be the killer because you were the one who brought him out. That's logical. Yep. Mate, I'm coming. <laughs> Uh, uh, why would I kill both of them? If I were to kill anyone, it would definitely be Yoshi! You were trying to lead us off trail. Yoshi would be the first person you kill. That's why you killed the most vulnerable person, so that way, it would be more, um, harder to figure out the culprit. Hello, hello. Makes sense. Sorry. Uh, uh. We're convinced! You're the killer! No, 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 no! No! Detective Pikachu, this is the truth of the case. It started yesterday when Monokuma announced the motive. Weapons, which were five long rubber ropes in the storage room. Everyone was not happy about this motive. However, one of us was mad for an entirely different reason. Yoshi was set off. By who? Our culprit. But, all of us were mainly going to go outside, except for a few, which were Joey, Ludwig, Koopa, and our culprit in this case. Also, Yellow Yoshi was going to stay behind. One of the two victims in this case. The, the culprit simply devised a quick murder plan. They slipped the note under Yellow Yoshi's door and then w went into the storage room. Then decided to hide in the male bathroom tunnel. After that, Yellow Yoshi decided to go to the, the room since there was nothing left to lose. After looking around for a little bit, the culprit decided to strike. They grabbed whatever was handy and knocked out Yellow Yoshi. Then start to prepare to hang him. They, they started to make preparations for the for the killing. And they 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 strung two strings to Yellow Yoshi and preparing to strangle him. But at the time, the killer couldn't have predicted Blue Toad, the second victim in this case. Blue Toad must have heard something in the room, the storage room, I mean. I tried to get in, but it was locked. So, he had to try this secret passageway. Then, Blue Toad came out and witnessed the murder of Yellow Yoshi. Making sure the killer wouldn't s Blue Toad wouldn't squeal about the killer, he sliced Blue Toad, killing him instantly. But then, the killer had a nerve conundrum, making Blue Toad dead. While Yellow Yoshi still was alive, just passed out. So he decided to make a quick little murder scene. He decided to wrap Blue Toad up in the ropes and suspend Blue Toad, but he, they had to hide it. So they found a, bla a long black tarp of pants and covered it to make it camouflaged. After Blue Toad was hidden, the killer decided to use some smelling salt he found in the bathroom to wake Yellow Yoshi up. Psst. After Yellow Yoshi woke up, the killer then started to strangle him. And within a matter of seconds, Yellow Yoshi was strangled and killed. Then the killer had to suspend its body to make sure it looked like it, he hung himself. After that, after suspending Yoshi's body, Yellow Yoshi's body, the killer had to lure someone. That's why they made a big bang sound and hid in the boy's tunnel. This is when I came in and discovered Yellow Yoshi's hanged body. I ran out to go get some people outside to help. And with that, the killer had already succeeded in his plan. The killer just simply had to come out, rip the tarp off, throw it to the side, and make it look like it Blue Toad just recently killed. So then the killer went through the tunnel, came out the other way, and decided to go get Yoshi to help look for Yellow Yoshi. Yoshi and I, and Susie and the killer, busted down the door, and we all discovered Blue Toad and Yellow Yoshi's body. This is the truth of the case, and the killer is... It's you, isn't it? Detective Pikachu, the ultimate detective. That, you're the culprit, Detective Pikachu. Urgh. Urgh. Detective Pikachu. DP, why'd you do it? I don't have to explain my reasoning to you. Well, it's voting time. I'm not gonna go with the normal spiel, so just cast your votes. I'm sorry, but we must do this. And the killer of Yolo Yolo Yoshi and Blue Toad is... 
the ultimate detective Harris himself, Detective Pikachu! I don't even want to look at you guys. You're all just criminals. Criminals, I say! You know what? You deserve this. What? You, you claim everyone else here is a culprit, especially me. But this doesn't mean people are bad guys. I hope you're going to help for this. Uh, let's give it everything we got. It's punishment time! And that Detective Pikachu, the ultimate detective, was executed. I wonder how much longer we're going to have to live through these hopeless trials.